for an updated what's in my bag travel edition, specifically my carry on. And big thanks to Neutrogena for sponsoring this video. First up, let's talk about this bag. And this is really exciting for me because I've never really had a carry on like this. I usually always have a backpack and a rolly suitcase, but this, this is as bag as it gets. And this is specifically the Dagny Dover Landon Carry All, I believe it's called, in the color Sea Mist. There's a whole bunch of colors online, but this blue aqua really caught my attention. It just looks so beautiful. I actually, strangely enough, found this while scrolling through Instagram, and I got a pretty interesting video about all that coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss that video. But yeah, this bag, I was a little skeptical at first because it was on the pricier side, but after after I got here and checking it out, I really actually love it and I'm excited to use it more and more. Not only does this bag come in a bunch of different colors, but it comes in a bunch of different sizes too. Extra small, small, medium, large. This is a large and there's also an extra large but this large fits a whole lot and you're about to see when I open it up. But before I open it up on the outside of it, I have this little Apple Watch charger, little handy dandy charger out here. This actually worked perfectly with this bag because I can just clip it on on the outside and it's fairly inexpensive. It's only around 20 bucks on Amazon. But my favorite thing about it, I will demonstrate, is that it has a magnet for your watch so you're not fumbling around when you're charging it. I also love that it has a battery indicator to tell you how much charge is left in it and it is around 900 milliamps which is plenty to charge your watch on the go. Before we get into the inside of the bag, I also have this little pocket out here that holds a 5,000 milliamp hour Mophie power bank. This is one of the newer ones in this beautiful blue color. I really appreciate the size of it because it doesn't add extra weight to my bag. And yeah, I just, I just really love this color, so it goes perfect with everything. But let's slip that back in and get into the inside of the bag. Zip it open. Oh, there is a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna start with the bigger stuff my MacBook, and if you guys saw my recent video, you probably know which MacBook is in here. This is the new 13 inch 2019 MacBook Pro. This is a base model specifically starting at 1299 that now has touch bar. And I have it in this in case sleeve, it's nice and sleek, has a magnetic flap. I just love how thin it is, but let's take it out. Here it is little baby MacBook. I say baby because I'm so used to the 15 inch, I'm still getting used to the smaller one, but this truly is super nice when traveling, especially like being in the plane, having the 15 inch versus the smaller one is just easier to bring in and out and just easier to use when you're on the go. With the base model though, one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the storage size since it's only 128 gigs. So you'll see that I carry around a lot of SSDs with me on the go for editing, but thankfully you can pick those up pretty cheap now. Aside from that though, I've really been loving this MacBook Pro, especially with performance was really surprising to see. And again, if you wanna see a more detailed video on that, make sure you check out my review linked below. Next up, I have this bag that came with this larger bag. It's probably a shoe bag, but I use it as a toiletry bag. What, you don't like my bags? Got all the essentials in here. I have my Philips electric toothbrush that is looking quite crusty right now. <laughs> I have a hairbrush to keep my hair nice and tangle free. Oh, when you fall asleep on a plane, get up. I always have the worst hair. <laughs> I also have some handy dandy hand sanitizer to keep things nice and germ free when traveling. Some liquid vitamins, vitamin C, B12, immune system, energy. I actually got to spray some today because I haven't taken mine. Oh, that's good. The vitamin C is orange and the B12 is better because it's raspberry. Tasty. Let's just dump everything else. Just all the essentials. But what I wanna talk about here is my skincare stuff, starting with these Neutrogena wipes, which are really special to me because much like the iPhone got me into loving tech, these wipes got me into caring about my skin. You guys know I travel a lot for videos, so I love having these pink grapefruit wipes with me everywhere I go. They're oil-free, which is awesome, and the pink grapefruit in them is just really refreshing and energizing after a long flight. 
Speaking of pink grapefruit, these are also awesome. The oil-free acne wash pink grapefruit facial cleanser and the foaming scrub. Not only do I travel with these everywhere, but I just use them at home every day. The cleanser is great for removing all that extra oil and dirt at the end of the day that your face just doesn't need. And if you thought those wipes were refreshing, wait till you try the foaming scrub. It's foamy, it's super exfoliating, and I've had a ton of travel recently. I actually got a chance to go to my first WWDC, which was amazing. But as fun as all that travel is, it can really be tough on your skin, so this helps me stay on top of it and not have to worry about acne. Now, clean skin is important, but keeping it moisturized is equally as important. So if you want to complete the collection, you can check out the Pink Grapefruit Moisturizer, and I'll link this along with everything else that I mentioned down below. Next from there, we have my SSD pouch, this Herschel little bag that you probably have seen in other What's In My Bags of Mine. Still have it, still using it, and I'm still collecting little pins, but let's open it up. I got some other things too, not just SSDs, but... Got these T5s. Oh, watch band came out. Got some watch bands. Always gotta have extra options. These are these summer colors. But here are my SSDs. I have a couple T5s from Samsung. Oh, another cable. I don't know what that's for. And a G Drive one also. And those are, like I said, very needed with that MacBook Pro that only has 128 gigs. I also have Hutu. It's another thing that has been in so many of my tech bags. You, of course you need it with the MacBook Pro as well. And... Lightning to USB-C for that Mophie charger. Regular USB lightning cable as well. Oh, this is another essential for traveling, this native union brick. I might have mentioned this one too, but again, I just, I just keep using it because I love this thing on a plane. It doesn't fall out of the charging power socket. Usually, if you have anything bigger than this, it'll usually like fall out and then you're not charging your phone. This, this is very great for that. And it has two little USB ports on the bottom so you can charge two things. All right, next up from there, I also have my iPad Pro. And just like I downsized my MacBook, I also downsized my iPad. And I'm really excited to use it, especially with iPad OS coming, sidecar. This might actually be perfect for the 13 inch and 11 inch two very similar sized screens right next to each other. But mainly, I love using this for watching movies on the plane and editing photos on the go. Now, I really appreciate all the storage that I get inside this bag. And here, we have another bag that came with this bag that's attached to it by a little clip. And I just keep things that I want for easy access in here. But before we see what's inside of here, I got this little AirPod case for my AirPods, this cute little strawberry case. I bought a whole bunch of these from this website that I found online that sells a whole bunch of fun and unique little AirPod cases. Love how cute it looks. And also, I feel like I lose my AirPods in any bag that I have, so this is an easy way to just keep them in one place and you can just always grab them easily. And inside this pouch, just a bunch of random things that I use on the go. Pen, lip balms, lip scrub, gum, icebreakers, and scrunchies. Gotta have the scrunchies. Now in this zipper pocket, I found that it's a good place to keep any phones that I'm taking with me on the go. Currently have a 3A and my iPhone, just because that's another thing. I usually throw my phones in my bag, they get scratched up. Now I have a separate pocket for it. <laughs> and I also have another pocket for snacks. Got some salty snacks, some sweet snacks, a lot of bars. Oh, we got another bar. You never know, I get hungry on, on flights, so I, I need all those snacks. I also have my sunglasses, of course the MacBook charger, a change of clothes because you never know, and my headphones. These are the new flagship noise-canceling headphones from Bose, and I've been using them just to try them out. They're fairly new. And so far, I don't really know how I truly feel about them. It's, it hasn't been too long that I've been using them. They're cool, but I don't know if I love them. <laughs> don't get me wrong, the noise canceling on these is really impressive, and they also look amazing. I, I love this 
swivel action going on. It's weird that they don't fold, but the swivel is cool. Regardless though, if you travel a lot, these are great on a plane and I really love them for watching movies, but they're basically $400. So for my initial impressions, I feel like the Sony's might be a better deal, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So that is all that is in my travel bag. Comment below and let me know what you guys travel around with. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.